The Fremantle Dockers sit third on the AFL ladder, coming off back-to-back -back wins. And the good news keeps coming. Justin Longmuir is back, out of ISO and ready to coach. Justin, you must be relieved. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's good to be over the virus and it's good to be um, back at work. So, um, yeah, looking forward to getting stuck into it. Talk us through your experience on the weekend coaching from the couch and what was a close game for most of the night? Yeah, it was a bit of a nail-biter, obviously. Um, you know, scores level pretty much um, halfway through the last quarter. Yeah, it was tense. Um, but, you know, I've got full faith in the coaching group and the football department um, to stand up and, and, and I suppose, um, take the reins while I wasn't, I wasn't there. They did a fantastic job in preparing the players um, and the players did a fantastic job in executing the plan. And um, we thought we might be able to, um, you know, get over them late and um, that showed to be true. Yeah, it was a fantastic win. What did you make of the lopsided free kick count? 42 to 16 in your favour. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really notice it during the game. Um, and I think sometimes the, the free kick count is a sign of um, a team, a team's intent versus the other team. We were plus 24 contested possession and plus 12 tackles and thought that showed, a, showed our intent on the night. And, um, you know, the umps rewarded that as well. Do you expect Caleb Sarong to play this week? Has his knee issue cleared up? Uh, it, he's progressing really well. Well, he'll have to get through main training, but all indications are that, um, yeah, he's over it and um, he'll be able to return this week, but we're never quite sure until we tick that final box of um, main training. Darcy Tucker and Alex Pearce also likely? Yeah, very likely. Um, yeah, we're really confident that both of them will come up. Um, yeah, so um, likewise with Caleb, they'll have to get through main training, but all signs are positive at this stage. You're going to have a tough time at selection this week if those three guys are available. Some big calls to make. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we've had players that have been in good form at Peel miss out all year, so this week's going to be no different. And um, we're in a good position as a club. We've got you know players in good form um, across the, the two teams, and. Um, that keeps pressure for those guys in the team um, to perform. So, yeah, we're in a good position. A couple of young guys performing really well. Nathan O'Driscoll, Neil Erasmus. Can they stay in the team with those guys coming back? Uh, we'll have to weigh it up. And every, yeah, every individual will get treated on its merits. And, you know, we've been really impressed with both of those guys, um, you know, adaption to then the step up to AFL footy. Um, yeah, and uh, whether they're in the team this week or not, um, they'll continue to go about their business of becoming better footballers and um, that can be done at whatever level you play at. And, um, yeah, those two, will, yeah, we'll sit down later in the week and um, we'll give you an answer um, when selection's held. You must be pleased with Griffin Logue's performance after being dropped and then coming in as a late inclusion. Yeah, I was. Um, yeah, he, he performed his role really well. Uh, I thought... Um, given the difficulty of not knowing that he was whether he was going to play or not up until you know 20 minutes before the game, he handled that really maturely, uh, yeah, and performed accordingly. Uh, executed his role really well, so really proud of his efforts. Have you sent the Gold Coast Suns a thank you card for Will Brody yet? <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, we're very um, pleased with his acquisition, though. Um, we've been a little bit injury hit through the middle of the ground, and he's been a constant there. Um, over the last sort of eight weeks um, and he's performing his role really well. Um, just love the way he goes about the contested and, and pressure side of his game and for an inside mid that's really important and um, yeah, he's, he's leading the way in our midfield really well. Yeah, it's been a fantastic pickup. What do you make of the suggestions Nat Fife should hand the captaincy over to someone like Andy Brayshaw? Oh, I, yeah, I just don't, I don't buy into that. Um, you know, Nathan gets... Um, criticised on all parts of his game and all parts of his leadership and uh, the, the thing I'm seeing from Nathan inside the, f the four walls of the footy club is he's um, really bringing along these young leaders really well and allowing them to develop under his tutelage. So, um, you know, Nathan's our captain and um, that will stay the same. Well said. The club off to its best start in seven years. Bombers on Easter Sunday. Justin, good luck this weekend. Thanks, Ryan. Cheers.